How you doing, YouTube? Now with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. Uh, a little bit of American Blondale on this November 7th, 2017, in the form of Fulton Brewing's Lonely Blonde. Um, Fulton Brewing, um, you know my area, uh, ended up sending off a box of beer to me uh, not too long ago. They ended up uh, just launching my area and ended up sending a box of beer. And uh, I want to do some reviews today. You're going to see three reviews today. I'm going to post three reviews the same day I actually do them. Um, it's here on November 7th, only because I want some beers. Uh, a little bit of grieving going on on my end, and I kind of was like, okay, you know, when I grieve, I'm Irish, you know, I like to actually uh, have a little bit of a, a kind of a old Irish style week. And, uh, you know, I wasn't going to do a beer review. <laughs> and uh, ended up looking at my fridge, and I had a, I just got a growler in the mail, and I just got some beer in the mail, and there was just three beers that just, I, I picked that, and they all kind of made sense, so I'm going to do three reviews, might be a little bit Debbie Downer time, but, you know, such things happen, but anyway, we'll see what happens, so here you go. First thing we're doing is Fulton Lonely Blonde. Um, American Blonde Ale, it is, uh, out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. On the back here it says, the first drink is magic, the second is in intimate, the third is love. Um, uh, let's see, ordinary guys brewing extraordinary beer, and that'd be that. Uh, like I said, Fulton just landed in my area. He's pretty cool, I actually like the logo and styling. Just landed in my area, <coughs> didn't have anything from him. But I was lucky enough to get a, uh, a box of their stuff in the mail. Um, this is, I think, the second or third beer I've opened of those. The first one I'm going to be posting obviously, but it's American Blondale. We'll see what happens with this. American Blondales can go a couple different ways. They can just be some kind of weird kind of wheat-based beer. They can be malt-based. I mean, they're loosely interpreted by most brewers, I usually think. As far as this one goes, finger and a half, almost two fingers, infinite creamy head, super tight compact bubbles, and she's got a soft, subtle haze to her. A bit of a, like, a snow globe carbonation wrapped around a uh, soft kind of yellowish hue to her. Get a bit of nose if we can. Yeah, almost like a like a bumped up kind of a sweetened Pilsner malt. A little bit of like some kind of nondescript kind of apple-y, kind of yeasty, estery thing. It's not like a negative. It's almost like a sweet green, red, fruity kind of skinny thing. But it's it's I think it's coming from the yeast. And that sweet kind of pilsner -y kind of malt to it. Um... And that's pretty much it. It comes off kind of saison which kind of makes sense. Uh, but nothing too crazy, nothing too big. Sweet leads the way there isn't much bittering to be found in there. So she smells like a beer. She looks like a beer. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. It actually comes off really like Pilsner-like to me. That sweet Pilsner malt is still kind of there. And it comes off a way more kind of crackery. But there's a bit of a bump of sweetness to it. Um, really just a soft bittering, like generic bittering kind of wrapped around it. And um, a nice body to it, almost like cream ale style body. Not too bad of beer, chugger, for sure. I mean, it is low in ABV, 4.8% alcohol by volume. But yeah, not too bad of beer. Um... Not gonna blow your doors off. Um, gee, I wouldn't say the first drink is magic and the next one is intimate and the third one is love. But uh, just, you know, it's just kind of a beer that kind of rang to me. The whole lonely thing and the love thing in the back. Um, it's kind of rang to me today, so it's definitely something I wanted to kind of sip on. Um, but yeah, um, not too shabby. Uh, super chugger, super drinkable. Definitely like a kind of garden, kind of barbecue beer kind of realm when it comes to uh, what it wants to be and what it is. Um, but other than that, I mean, you're not going to look to it to be something a bit more than it is. Sometimes American Ales can get a little bit closer to kind of Belgian Golden sometimes, stuff like that. But this is definitely more of a kind of tweet, sweetened Pilsner more than anything else. It's not like lager based. It's more like a Pilsner with a lager, non-lager yeast, like an ale yeast. And uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Drinkable. Tasty. Hitting the spot at this moment. So, yeah. Uh, let's talk about it. It's one of the better 
American Blondes I've had as of late. It would almost default to that because I haven't had one in so long. Um, but it's a nice beer. But again, like I said, not something I kind of bang doors down for. But at the same time, if someone gave me this at a tailgate or a barbecue or a golf course, or whatever, I'd be more than happy to kind of throw a couple down. Value availability? No idea. Uh, maybe somebody can chime in on that. Like I said, we just got them in our area, but I don't know what bits and pieces of their portfolio we see here in northeastern Pennsylvania, but I know they're in uh, Pennsylvania and New York, I believe now, and Minneapolis and a couple other states out by there, and leave you with it if you like what we like this. If you if you like Pilsners, you want something a little bit more robust, or you like Belgian kind of Goldens, you want something a little bit south of that. If you like Wheats, if you like Saisons more specifically, you want something a little bit kind of maybe sideways, but a little bit lower in some senses, a little bit bigger in others, then maybe it would uh, be uh, hit you in the spots where it needs to hit you. Um, but yeah, or if you like the name, Lonely Blonde. Mm. Yeah, I can see where you get this. You know, I mean, you'd see the whole Lonely Blonde thing in a bar or whatever, but it hit me a little bit different title wise. So, but anyway, not too shabby of a beer. So, there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as much as uh, you can. Um, let's see. Uh, if you want to talk about it down there, words and stuff, uh, me, you can contact me, Massive Beers, and all the social medias if you care to reach out. I do a lot of different things out there. So, Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Um, <laughs> a little bit of a bummer review. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this beer. If you do have it, hopefully you're enjoying life. And that's the theme of these reviews today. And uh, hopefully see you next time. Cheers.